Joining us now is retired Navy Captain Bob Wells, also former National Security Advisor to Vice President Dick Cheney and author of the new book, Voices from the Bottom of the South China Sea. Bob, good to see you. Uh, pretty good tough to talk. You. Pretty tough talk from the Vice President. Uh, you think the Iranians are going to listen? I think the Iranians should listen. They should realize that there's a new national security team that is, as Vice President Pence just mentioned, is really going to look at all the policy options. This is a different time. Iran has done this in the past, and I think they should take us very seriously. Largest state sponsor of terrorism in the world, according to the State Department, continued with their ballistic missile uh, research, development, and, and, and launching those missiles. Some say in violation of the United Nations Security Council resolution, but the resolution just actually only calls on them not to do that. It's not, you know, specific by law uh, in, in the resolution. So if you're in Tehran, What's going through your mind, and how do you, you, can you calculate what you think you will do versus uh, uh, the, the White House? I mean, they are not backing down from their belligerent, aggressive actions about us. I don't believe they will back down. This has been a norm of the Iranian regime ever since the revolution. It is a revolutionary regime. We've seen not only ballistic missile tests, we've seen harassment on the seas, international waters with the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps. We've seen arm tra arms transfers to different uh, locations throughout the broader Middle East, including Lebanon with Hezbollah and the Houthis uh, in Yemen, as well as destabilizing conduct inside Iraq. We've also seen direct uh, uh, conflict uh, with the United States uh, in various times over the last uh, 30 years since the Iranian Revolution. So they'll continue to play uh, their particular game. It's a new game with the United States, though. It's not really a game. It's very serious. And I really think that it's not just the United States. It's all the members of the Permanent uh, Council, the, the P5, also the UN Security Council resolution. I really like what Vice President Pence said. We're looking at uh, a policy deliberation. This president is very serious, and Iran should take notice. Well, he can't scuttle the uh, UN uh, you know, approved deal all by himself, can he? He cannot, but he has to look at the other parties to the agreement. Uh, it's a comprehensive agreement. There's other, other ways for uh, proliferation as well, not just the proliferation on land uh, with all the cent centrifuges, but also proliferation at sea. If I'm not mistaken, the, uh, the physical location in Iran where they're doing the ballistic missile tests uh, back 20 or so years ago was also a location where the North Koreans came uh, to look at this particular technology. That's always been a concern of mine, especially when I was a former commanding officer of a cruiser in the Persian Gulf uh, with the Iranian Navy close by on many different occasions, was the possible transport of uh, nuclear uh, proliferation or missile technology control elements via the sea uh, to Iran or by, to other places. So that, that's a very good concern. I think it's a welcome change to really look at this policy. And finally, quickly, uh, you talked about harassment. They've got those small boats in which they've been harassing our warships. Uh, could there be an incident at the Gulf of Sidra? But remember back in 1981 when President Ronald Reagan, uh, during his administration, the Libyan Air Force uh, fired two of their warplanes, fired on our F-14s, and we shot them down. Do you think that there can be something similar, whether it's by mistake, whether it's by accident, unintentional, or it's a mishap, or intentional? I think there could. In fact, uh, if you look at Iran's conduct, uh, if you recall back in 1987, I think it is, or 1988, uh, where they were caught mining uh, the Persian Gulf, uh, which led to Operation Praying Mantis in 1988, where you had U.S. Uh, Navy interdiction and also missile firings of the uh, oil platforms. Uh, you've seen it uh, time and time again with arms transfers uh, to the Houthis, uh, most recently with the Houthi-aligned uh, rebels uh, shooting surface-to-surface -surface missiles uh, toward our U.S. Navy ships, and most recently the Saudi Arabian frigate that got hit out there. So there's, they need to really think about what they're doing. They need to actually uh, manage the uh, IRGC, who is a prominent player within this regime. All right. Well, uh, potentially there is a, a, a powder keg. Yes, sir. Potentially. Uh, Bob Wells, thank you for your insight as always, and we will continue to follow this. Thank you, Eric. Of course.